Hi, it's Tate. I'm going to give you a tour of a Chinese social commerce app called Xiaohongshu. I got it right here on my phone and we're going to look through some of the content and features and give you a feel of what it's like to use this as a regular Chinese user would. Xiaohongshu is an app that's a bit like Pinterest and a bit like Instagram and it has e-commerce functionality built right into it. What I'm scrolling through here now is the homepage, the accounts that I am following. So I'm just following a few accounts and lots of food content in there from Nanjing especially. If I click through to view one, what I'm going to see here is a note that someone has added. That's what they call it, a note. And from this note, I can see the pictures that they've added, sometimes videos, and descriptive content down below. There will be a lot of tags on here that will help me drill down and find some more information um, about the store, about the brand, or related accounts. Most of the tags are in the description down below, but then there's also sometimes tags on the images too. So I'll click this one on the image. And this takes me to the store page where I can see the notes that are from other people that posted here as well. Let's go back. Now, besides just the accounts that I'm following, I can go here to Facien, find new content, or I can look at what's nearby me as well. I'm in Edmonton now, not China, but there is still content that is from around, uh, around the city here. So through this way, I can find some cool stuff around, around town. Now, this platform now has 85 million monthly active users and 85% of them are female on the young side. So there's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of content for women on here. It's not really my favorite platform. I like to use a site like Amazon or Jingdong in China when I'm searching for something to buy. But I can see why other people would like this. It's, it's cool to browse. It's very visual. Um, and I think it's the kind of platform that people would use at the end of the day, look around, not really with the intent to buy, but if they do see something cool, then they could they could just buy it. Let's click this uh, hashtag here. And I'm going to find some more eye products. So this one's in the video format. Now, sometimes within the uh, tags that are that are in the descriptions or the images, I might be able to go straight to a store. I could also click down here, and this will take me to the store area. And it's really easy to make a purchase on here. So let's imagine that I found something that I liked. Well, it's all women's stuff, but let's just um, let's just pretend I like this hair dryer. And I could add it to my cart. Check my cart. Oh, I have some shoes on there from earlier. Select them all. And I could pay right through here. Um, now, I don't have my information added in, but if I did, it would be really quick and easy. One of the things that I love about uh, Chinese shopping apps, not just this one, but other ones, is it's just really easy to pay. Uh, I don't have to go through the hassle of entering credit card information or entering passwords that I've forgotten. I would just use the Alipay or the WeChat Pay, which I already have on my phone. From talking to people in China that use this app a lot, some of them will make purchases through Xiao, Xiaohongshu. Others won't make purchases on Xiaohongshu, but they'll go to what they'll use it to browse and then they'll go look at Taobao or Tmall or whatever app that they prefer and make their purchase there. This app really wants everybody to post on it. It wants its users to be active. We know that because it has this big red button at the bottom, this plus symbol. Let's click it. Now, I just um, took a picture a couple minutes ago about this uh, fox in the background here. So let's see what it's like to post it. My daughter let me borrow this for this, for this event here. And it's easy to add some filters if I wanna change something. Okay, I could make it France style there. Uh, 
they want to, us to add a lot of tags to the content. It, this page gives us some ideas about different types of tags we could add, such as the place or the brand. Now this is a TY brand. I don't know if they have it on here, perhaps not. But I added that. And we can add some music. Deep water, try that one. I could give it a little title. Little Fox. And post it. So it's just very easy to post content on here. Um, post it directly from your mobile device. If I wanted to, I could add more description. They want me to share it as well. And this is basically it. This is the app. I think it's very, uh, it's quite simple, easy to use, and there's not really a ton going on it. You know, if you looked at some of my other videos about Chinese apps, sometimes they're really busy and they got a ton of features and they'll add on everything that they can to try to get more people to use the app basically. But this one has stayed um, quite close to its core for now. That's it for now. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Chinese marketing or Chinese culture, subscribe to us or check out our China Digital Marketing 101 page on our website. Thanks. See you later.